Welcome to Share Science. Last week we covered the magic of magnetism, which you should go back and watch if you missed it. Check out the link in the top corner. So other than some neat tricks and theoretical space travel, is there anything I can actually do with magnetism? You bet. Today we're going to review the key role that magnetism plays in DC motors, which are key to everything from refrigerators to electric vehicles. Let's find out how. To understand how DC motors work, we have to explain a few key terms first. Lenz's law is a principle that correlates the interaction between magnetic and electric fields. Next, we have to understand the Lorentz force, which is the force that's exerted between the two. Finally, we're going to cover torque, which is a way to measure the twisting force that a motor can produce to do work. To understand how DC motors work, we have to first understand how magnetism and electric current interact. And that's where Lenz's law comes in. When a magnetic field impinges on a conductive material, it generates a current that through the magnetoelectric effect then generates its own magnetic field that opposes the original field. That's a lot of words to explain an effect that's pretty cool to watch. So let's take a look. In this experiment, a permanent magnet is set to swing into a large block of copper. Now, copper isn't magnetic, but as you see, it can stop the swinging magnet in its tracks and even pull it along through this interaction. Let's see it a few more times. Now, in a DC motor, the idea is to take advantage of this effect through smart design. To show how this works, our friends at LearnEngineering.org have provided these cutaways showing the inside of a DC motor. By introducing a current in the rotor that interacts with a perpendicular magnetic field, the rotor spins. Due to the applied Lorentz force, which is a measure of the strength of this interaction, and will vary for each motor design. In a simple version of a motor, as the rotor moves in line with the magnetic field, the current is reversed, which allows the rotor to complete the loop. Now in this simple design, the operation of the motor would be pretty jerky at the crossover point, so motor designers add many such loops to provide for smooth operation and consistent torque, which is a measure of the twisting force that a motor can produce. Now, there are lots of other things motor designers can add to improve operation, like soft magnetic cores between the armature coils and electromagnets for the stator poles. But all DC motors follow the general principle shown here to convert an electric voltage to mechanical torque. To summarize, we covered one of the ways engineers use the power of magnets to make motors move. The intrinsic interaction between electric and magnetic fields is described through Lenz's law, and this effect can be used to generate a Lorentz force that makes the motor spin. Engineers then design the motor to optimize torque, or the motor's output, for a given application. We hoped you liked today's video. Are there any other uses of magnets that you'd like us to explain? Let us know what you think in the comments. And remember to subscribe below to get videos just like this one automatically in your feed every week.